you're ever on a Wi-Fi network and it says weak security, there's a problem and it needs to be fixed because weak security basically means you're not protected. Anyone can see what you're doing very easily. So what we want to do is go ahead and change that security. Before we get in, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the phone and I'm going to show you how to do it through the phone, but it is not an issue with your phone. It's an issue with the network itself. The Wi-Fi router needs to be changed. The security protocol they used is probably WPA and that's an old security protocol that has been cracked a long time ago. So now we need to go to WPA2. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this and make sure your router is up to date and get you all set up. There is one other small thing though. As you update this, if you have any older, older devices that use Wi-Fi, there is a chance they may not be able to connect to this. So keep that in mind. You can always give it a try and if it doesn't work, you could switch it back. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here, we're gonna go from the main screen into settings, just to show you what I'm talking about, and then we're gonna choose Wi-Fi. And right there it is, Wi-Fi weak security. So basically I'm on an outdated Wi-Fi protocol and I need to update that. Yes, it's my fault too. I have been on it and didn't even notice. This weak security has started showing up when iOS 14 hit. So it is something recent. So let's go ahead and get it fixed. What you actually need to do is connect to your router. Every router will have a different app, but I know for Netgear, the Nighthawk is the one that I use. It's most likely a Nighthawk if you have a Netgear router. If not, you could just Google it or put your brand name in the app store and I'm sure it'll come up. You can also do this from going to a website. If you have a computer, just go to the browser and Google how to connect to and put your router name in. It always comes up and gives you a quick way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my router and here we are. I've already updated the software. I'll show you how to do that at the end in case you're curious. But let's go ahead and go choose Wi-Fi settings. As Wi-Fi settings goes through, you'll notice there's two different outputs. There's 2.4 or five gigahertz. So there's actually two different bands on this router. So I would wanna change it for both of them. So first I'm gonna to go to the 2.4 gigahertz and I'm gonna choose security method and I'm gonna change it from WPA to WPA2 because the regular WPA is out of date. So now I have WPA2 set up there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Keep in mind your router will restart. The first time you connect to this, you may have to set up an account and your information should be on the back of the router. Usually the password's there. And a lot of times the default password is admin. You could always just Google what the default password is. Let's go back into Wi-Fi settings. Now we're gonna click on 2.4 and we're gonna see it does say WPA2, so we're all set. Go back one, now we're gonna go to five gigahertz, click on that, and we need to change this one too. So we're gonna click on there and we're gonna change that, WPA2, and we're gonna hit save. And again, it's gonna go ahead and take our router down and restart. Now we just have to wait for that transition to happen. You wanna make sure no one's on the internet or they're aware that the internet's going down when you do this. I made sure my whole household knows <laughs> they're not happy, but hey, we need to get a video out, right? <laughs> and it would be good to get the security bumped up because I've noticed that weak security for a while and it's been bothering me. So I'm glad that this will take care of it for us. Good to always be learning and researching stuff. See the Wi-Fi is reconnected. We're not too far off. That's gonna pop up, it wants to join the network. We'll go ahead and choose join. Okay, we're back at the main screen. Let's go ahead and check Wi-Fi settings. Check five. There we go, WPA2, that's awesome. And go back and back. And now we're all set. Let's go ahead and check settings. We'll go in the Wi-Fi. And there we go. That weak security is no longer there. I do recommend if you have a 5G option to select that because that's gonna be faster than the other. If your router needs an update, you'll see a little thing in the top right corner that says update. 
or depending on your app, you'll see it somewhere. Just hit update and it'll go through and update the software. Expect the internet to go down for about three to five minutes and let everybody else know. Then it'll come back up and you should be all set. If for some reason you're still not getting internet access, make sure you unplug your cable modem and your router and then just plug them both back in. That resets everything. It's also good to do every month or two just to keep everything fresh. Then you should be all set. So if you know anyone else that may have this problem, make sure you go ahead and share this video. Let them know about it because you don't really want to get hacked. Your information is wide open if it does say weak security. And that's why Apple added that feature to let you know. Glad we were able to get you set up and thank you so much for the view.